Hello beautiful people, it's Davina from the London Curls and it's been about three years but I'm finally back with a new head wrap tutorial. So I'm going to be showing you lots of variations of styles, whether you want to have your hair out or whether you want to have it in protective styles like so. And I'm also collaborating with the lovely Azakara by Laura Jane who gave me these two beautiful head scarves. You can win your own head scarves if you watch until the end of the video and follow the instructions and you can win an iPad case. So yeah, let's get started. I'm first of all going to show you what I would do when my hair is out. So you can do this if you've got straight hair curly hair whatever but this is my hair when it's particularly messy five days into a wash and go and I want to cover it so I do this if I haven't got time to wash my hair or it might be raining outside so I just quickly need to switch things up this is the first style I'm going to show you so it's just a really quick way to make what might be a bit of a frizzy afro look a bit glamorous I start off by folding the scarf in half so it's a little bit thinner. I pull all of my hair forward like so and then it's really simple. All you have to do is then just tie it at the front. Now it's just about making sure that it is in the style that you want. I like to have it higher up on one side so that all of the hair kind of falls onto the other side. And once you've finished getting it in place, you just need to tuck those two pieces of material at the back, make sure it's all smooth and you are good to go. That is it, really simple. Next, it's all about the top knot bun. So what I would do is I scrape all my hair up into an afro puff. If you have straight hair, you could just do your hair into a bun just so you've got that volume of hair on the top of your head. I bring all of these scarf around to the front, tuck in that excess material, twist the two sections together, and then it's about twirling both sides, like so. And you just quickly tie it at the back and then any loose material that you have, you can just tuck it under. Now, once you get the hang of it, it's really quick and easy and it's a perfect way of just covering all of your hair, especially if it's a bit messy. Yeah, let's get those ears out, shall we? <laughs> this is just a quick variation of it. So rather than it being tight around the bun, you can just switch it up and do it like this every now and then. So again, it's the same technique of twisting it around at the front, but rather than twirling it around and so on, you're just taking those two pieces of loose material and you're tucking it underneath. Again, making sure it's all smooth. So let's get this all tucked around at the back. And once you're all tucked in, it's just about making sure that you've got the right shape that you want to have. There you go. Okay, now moving on to a lower bun, like so. So rather than having the afro puff on the top of your head, you just need to bring all of the hair to the back. I like to have a center parting for this one. And then you lay the material over your head and then you're done. I'm joking. Okay, so all you need to do is you need to tie the material at the back, tuck that little bit of excess material as well. And then it's just like how you do it on top. You twirl that material around and then you're just bringing it around the bun. And again, just tucking it in any excess material. So you can either have it like this, where you have all of your hair covered right to the front, or how I like to do it is bringing it a bit further back, and then I just secure it into place with slides or bobby pins, whatever you call them, just to make sure that it doesn't fall off, because you don't really want your headscarf to fall off when you're walking around. It's not that cute. So there you go, really quick and simple. Okay, so this is how I jazz up a normal afro puff. Start off by sectioning off a bit of hair which will act as bangs or a fringe and then I tie the rest of the hair up into an afro puff again. Then the material's folded, I bring it around the back and I tie it at the front, like so. I like to tie it at an angle, fix that afro puff quickly. Then tucking in that hair so it looks like a fringe or bang, like so. And then it's about tying the rest of the material into a bow. Now you can play around with this for a while, just make sure that you've got it in the shape that you desire. And there you go, really cute. Now, finally, if your hair is frizzy at the front but you still can't be bothered to wash it, you can do this. There's two variations of this. You can do your hair in a high puff again, and then simply with the scarf folded in half, just tie it at the back so no one can see any frizziness and you don't need to put gel on, you know. You know the struggle and just fix that material like so. Or you can take the hair down so you've got your hair out and free in the back. Just fix it into place and then you are done as well.
Right, there was no fighting it any longer. I really needed to wash my hair, detangle it, give it some love. So what I did was I washed it and I put it into braids. This is how I'd have my hair the majority of the time when I was in Dubai, if it wasn't in single plaits and so on. I had it in protective styles all the time. And I really find that covering my hair and using a satin scarf or a silk scarf underneath the material just really made sure that my hair was moisturized. It helped it to grow a lot because you're not manipulating your hair all the time and touching it and styling it and so on. So I really highly recommend this, especially if you are trying to grow out your hair. So let's do the variation of that top knot bun, but without your hair out. So we're going to use this donut ring, whoops. Okay, so putting the material on the head first, I put the donut ring underneath where I would have the top knot and we're doing the exact same thing again. So we're twisting the material around, twirling the material around our fingers and then you just tuck it in around the knot as well. So anyone that sees this would just assume that you've got your hair in a high puff or a bun or whatever underneath. So yeah, cute style, sneaky sneaky. Again, a variation of the next style as well. Again, using that donut ring. So again, I've used that donut ring to just create the illusion of having all of my hair piles on top. Now, rather than twisting both sides around each other, I've literally just wrapped that material around. So I've taken one side and I'm tucking it underneath and then the loose material on the other side. I'm just making sure that it's all fixed in place so that that donut ring doesn't fall out because that would be very difficult to explain to someone. Um, and then I just bring that material around and tuck it underneath as well. So that's really, really quick and easy. Okay, variation of the back puff. Okay, so I've taken some of that excess material out just so it can act like my hair and then I use that to secure the donut in place. And then again, lay that material over the top. And just like we did before, you can tie that material underneath, twirl it around again, and secure it around the bun. tuck any excess material around and you're good to go. And just like with the other variation, you can have it right at the front or you can push it back slightly, especially if you've got your hair in braids underneath and you can secure that in place with bobby pins. Lovely. Now, if you want to have a cute bow like this when your hair is already braided and so on, let me just show you how you do that quickly now. Just bring all that material to the front and you can do the exact same thing. So you tie it and then you can just fix it into a bow right at the front as well. Play with it, make sure that you're completely happy with it. No one likes looking in the mirror and seeing their bows are wonky. Yeah, really cute. And you're ready to go. So this is by far my all time favorite type of head wrap. So, so easy. You just need to lay that material over your head, tie it at the front, and then you twist the two pieces of material at the front and twirl it around into a nice cinnamon bun. <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> tuck the material in, adjust it accordingly, and yeah, it's done. It's so, so easy. I absolutely adore having it like that. Another way to cover it completely is again, bring all of that material at the front and then twist it round each other again, tuck it underneath, just basically like we did before, but without having a bun underneath it so it's nice and smooth and tuck any excess material around the back. And there you go. Okay, now moving on to the final head wrap. I'm showing a little bit of hair at the front again. Now I'm just laying that material over the top and tying it at the back. I have folded the material in half, but I'm just going to make sure that um, it's covering the underneath scarf by tucking it underneath, if that makes sense. <laughs> and then I twist both sides again, and I'm just gonna tie them on top.
then any excess material I'll tuck underneath and then that bit at the back that's probably still exposing a little bit of my satin scarf I'm just going to make sure that it's completely covering that at the back by tucking in the material as well. Lovely. And we're done. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you enjoyed having a few variations and ways that you can kind of trick people into thinking there's a lot more going on underneath the head wrap than there might actually be. Just like I was saying, there is going to be a competition that I'd love you all to get involved in. So for your chance to win a head wrap of your choice, so you could go for this one, you could go for this beautiful one, or you could go for any of the other beautiful head wraps that are on the Azakava website. I'll leave the link below. All you have to do is you need to follow myself, The London Curls, on Instagram as well as Azakara by Laura Janes. Look for a picture that will explain a bit more what you need to do. You need to comment and tag two friends in it and you need to comment what your favourite product on the website is. So you can either go for the two that I've shared with you or you can head over to the Azakara website and you can have a look through there. So all of the best of luck. The competition ends on the 20th of September so make sure you're quick and yeah check out Azakara it's a fantastic black British brand Laura is absolutely lovely so make sure that you check her out make sure you follow and yeah I will see you all very very soon bye